Today we will be talking about wig caps. Wig caps are very important when it comes to creating a wig. You need a wig cap in order to create a wig, right? So wig caps is the topic for today. So we will be talking about four different types of wig caps. The first wig cap we will talk about is a mesh stone cap. The next cap we will talk about is a spandex stone cap. And then the third cap we're gonna talk about is an adjustable mesh cap. And the fourth one that we're gonna talk about is a ventilated cap. So starting with the mesh stone cap, which is this, the best brand to use is Qfit. Qfit 5011 Black. So as you can see here, it's called mesh dome cap. Mesh dome caps is one of the most popular caps that wig maker used um as you can see it's see-through you can see throughout the cap and this thick part here is an elastic band this elastic band makes the wig fit really snug on your head it's very lightweight a mesh dome cap is very lightweight um it's very breathable. Like it doesn't feel really thick on your head. Like, you know, it's very popular. Okay, so the next type of wig cap is a spandex dome cap. This is a great brand. This brand is also by Qfit 5017 Black. And it will say span dome cap. is $2.99 you know depending on where you go sometimes it can be three dollars like down the street but mm, but typically they are two dollars now a dome cap you will hear a lot of wig makers say they don't like using dome caps because as you can see it's very thick you can't see through it it's not breathable compared to now let's compare this dome cap to this mesh cap as you can see the dome cap is thicker and you can't see through it like you can see through this mesh cap the dome cap is the thickest cap for a wig it's the thickest wig cap because you can't see through it you cannot see through it it's very thick dome caps are very flexible like it has a great stretch Dome caps are great for anyone who has thick hair. If you have thick hair, this is great for you because it has like, it has a really good stretch in it. Me personally, I love dome caps. I love them, spandex dome caps because they're very stretchable. Like if you wanna make a ready to ship wig, meaning um, you're not making a custom wig. A custom wig is you are making a wig for someone by their specific head measurements. But a ready to ship wig is you're just using the standard wig measurement for a size 22 head. I love spandex dome caps for ready to ship units because even if I make a size 22, it has a little stretch on it. A little, it got a stretch on it just in case someone who's like a 22 point five or 23 they might be able to you know there are two type of caps um there's a regular cap and then there's also an extra large um this is the now for the extra large it'll say extra large right here it'll probably be like it'll be in red or gold but it'll say x dash large the extra large is good for anybody that has a size 23 and up head circumference. If your client has a size 22 and lower, you want to use a regular size cap. A regular size cap. Again, if your client has a size 23 and up, you need to use an extra large cap. Now I'm going to talk about an adjustable mesh cap. This is an adjustable mesh cap. 
Hint that I said mesh. It's just like a regular mesh cap. It just has straps for a more fitted feel. Now, these caps come in a size small, medium, or large. This is a size medium. There are some hooks on the back. that you secure the straps to. And then you'll do the other side the same way. Now, adjustable mesh caps are stretchy, but they're not as stretchy as a mesh cap or a dome cap, but they do have some type of stretch to it. I'm not a fan of adjustable caps because of the stretch. They all feel like the same size to me if I place them on my hair. I don't really like, I don't really, I don't use these. Pre-made wigs are typically made with adjustable mesh caps, okay? But adjustable wig caps are great because they already have adjustable straps, built in and you do not have to add an elastic band. So again, this is an adjustable mesh cap. The fourth wig that we're gonna talk about is a ventilated cap. A ventilated cap is just like an adjustable cap. It just has plastic on the inside. Now I will post a picture right here so you can see, but it has plastic on the inside here. Once you make your wig, you want to rip the plastic off. Once you rip the plastic off, there's gonna be some holes. Now, wig makers love ventilated caps because they're more breathable. You can actually itch your scalp, touch your braids, you can do whatever. You have access to it with a ventilated cap. With a mesh cap, a mesh cap, dome cap, or a mesh adjustable cap, you do not have access to your scalp. Yes, you can, you know, eh, you know, try to itch your scalp a little bit, but with the ventilated cap, you can actually touch your braids. Like, you know, this right here, what I'm wearing, is a mesh cap. So, as you can see, if you can see my cap, if I itch my head, if I try to itch my scalp, I'm not touching my scalp. I'm touching my scalp through the mesh cap. The ventilated cap is a hole where I'm actually can touch and itch my scalp if my scalp is itching, okay? If my scalp is itching, I can touch my scalp with a ventilated cap. A ventilated cap is the only cap that you can use if you wanna itch your scalp, touch your braids, whatever whatever you feel but it is more breathable that is why wig makers like it because you have access to your head ventilated caps is a lighter cap with better circulation because you have access to your scalp if you're the type of person that has to lift the back of your wig up to itch your scalp if it's itching a ventilated cap is good for you if you don't really care about that you can get an adjustable cap but yes, these are all the type of wig caps. Again, this is an adjustable mesh cap. It's stretchy, but not as stretchy as a mesh cap or a dome cap. Remember, a ventilated cap is just like this cap. It just has plastic, but you peel the plastic off. It's the same cap, the same cap. It just has plastic on it. And then once you rip the plastic off, there's holes so you can have access to your scalp. And yes, that is the four type of wig cap that you can use to create a wig. If you have any other questions or any other videos that you would like to see, make sure you guys comment down below and I'll be sure to do them all.